Morning guys, welcome back. So last video was pretty short, uh, talking about kind of the what we went through with trying to sell the trailer, but didn't work out, that's okay. So anyway, we have a new camping trip uh, today that we're headed out to Central Oregon over to Bend for a wedding for a, a coworker. So we're really excited for that. But there's a little bit of a change to this trip. So even despite not selling the trailer, we pulled the trigger guys, and guess what? Check this bad boy out. Holy cow, look at it. There it is in all of its glory. So, I know we kind of gave you guys a little bit of a tour, but um, yeah, there it is, man. We are excited for this beast. Um, so we've been playing with it a little bit, getting things set up, kind of just going through the motions of everything. So learning the ins and outs of this trailer, it's gonna be fun pulling this thing today. Uh, I'm kind of excited, a little nervous going over the mountain, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be easy. Already drove it down from the dealership. It was a piece of cake, drove wonderfully. So real excited. Thanks for checking us out, guys. We're going to show you all the setups and everything when we get there today, but uh, thanks for coming back. Thanks for watching, and uh, let's get down the road to Bend, Oregon. We made it. We're here in Bend. And check this out. And Christine? Yeah. How was setting up the trailer? Oh my God. <laughs> Quarter of the time. And we actually took our time. So as new to the we fifth wheeled world, bored. we did it. I'm, I'm a we, big, we I'm a big boy. I, Go up. Up. I'm a big boy. I did it all by myself. So let's. I, but no, no, no. So we I, we made sure that we, I read all the directions on the leveling, the auto leveling. We did step by step by step. We ran into a little error, but we didn't realize. Yeah, why? Why, but then we, I'm like, well, what does RF mean? It means right front. Looked, sure enough, that jack was up. We didn't realize it. Yeah. So fix that, auto level. Auto level, we're good. So we're here, let's check it out. It's great. It's still. Got the sun outdoors. And yeah. we're going to walk around tomorrow morning, uh, show you guys, we'll have some nice coffee, go for a walk. Yeah, we haven't sure. had a chance to really check it out yeah. yet. We had to get to, so we're here in Bend for a wedding, as we said. Oh, and, oh look at that thing slide. And so tonight is a welcome dinner at Versada Ranch with the bride and groom and some of the family and I think whoever's else out there. So we're just going out to hang out to have a cocktail and an appetizer and... Well, hopefully. I don't know. They might be serving food, but I think it's just drinks. I don't know. We're going to see. But anyway, we're going to um, bring you guys along and... No, we've never been to Brasada Ranch, but apparently it's it's supposed to be pretty, pretty nice. So we're going to go check the, it out tonight. Yeah, tonight is... Uh, it's called The Night Before. The whole event is called The Night Before because tomorrow they get married. All right, that is some clever naming they came up with The, the Night Before. The Night Before. How do you think they came I up with that? I don't know. Them? It's clever though. Yep. So let's go have some fun tonight and we'll bring you guys along. Yep. All right. See you soon. See you at the ranch. Oh, no. See you at the ranch. No. Ranch time. No. Nope. Ranch it. dressing. <laughs> we'll see you soon. At the ranch. No.
sun outdoors here in Bend, Oregon. So we're here today just kind of walking around, taking Piper for her morning walk, but also at the same time checking out this place. And from what we've seen, I love it. This is what you're looking at. So the spots so far that we've seen are big. They're all, I'm not even gonna say paved, it's like pavers. Um, water sewer, electrical, uh, everything, uh, easy water sewer, electrical. Yes, I said that right. <laughs> um, it, it's all super easy set up, very, so far the park's been clean. I mean, I, we, I haven't, we haven't gone to the bathrooms yet, so that's our barometer, you guys know that. So we'll let you know how that pans out. But we love it. I mean, I it's expensive. I can't, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I don't remember how well, much. Well, I, I will, Christine will put the price down yeah. below here. So just, but it, but it Christine, was. Christine, add it now. Um, so we'll show you guys some more. We'll walk into the little store, the little lounge they had here with pool ping. table, ping pong, hot tub. Lots of cool stuff here. So let's just explore more of the park. Today is the wedding. And oh, by the way, if we haven't mentioned it, we love our fifth wheel. Oh. oh my gosh, we'll get into that later. Yeah, um, yeah, we'll talk about that later. But yeah, let's go check out more of this park, guys. Uh, Sun Outdoors Bend, Oregon, fantastic. Laundry facility. Here's kind of your little welcome center. I can't take her in there. Yeah. No, wait out here. Yeah. Here's the little lounge. Kind of an indoor outdoor hot tub thing going on. It's really cool. Yeah, super cool. I like that. And then here's kind of the, the cool this. middle big park area, which is really neat. And then and they have that, they have this middle area between each of the yeah, lanes. It, yeah. So look at this outdoor spot. It's kind of cool. Fire pits out here, games. games. Sorry, you can't see anything when you're I know, no, that's why. <laughs> so this is all the things that you can check out. So ping pong, foosball, tennis, pickleball, horseshoes. Cornhole, you can get cornhole. Frisbee. Yeah, you can get it. Another gym. Piper, you can't work out. Here's the drill. Bathrooms, <laughs> we're in. Uh, really nice, actually, holy cow. Let me quick, because I don't want to interrupt if somebody walks in here, but they're super clean. Sauna. Showers. Private bathrooms, very nice. And dressing area. Got a very clean bathroom. Very good. Pro tip. I'll check out the bathroom. All right. Give quick updates on what we just learned. Okay. Okay. So, rates. Rates vary. They vary depending on when you book. So, if you book early, they're going to be a little cheaper. They're more expensive on the weekends. That's, you know. Normal. Normal. Mm -hmm. So, I'd say anywhere from $80 to $110 mm -hmm. uh, a night. However, she said that she had someone book last minute and they had a, I guess they had a cancellation or whatever and they booked somebody today and it was $250. That's pricey. <laughs> I mean, get a hotel, right? <laughs> um, every site has your own recycle bin and trash bin. Mm -hmm. And uh, if it's full and you wanted to pick it up, you just bring it out to the end of your site uh, by 9 a.m each morning uh, they also have propane service so if you have an empty propane tank you can take it out leave it at the end of your spot and they'll come by and pick it up fill it and bring it back yeah so kind of cool cool stuff so let's walk up to our site we are in remind me 473 473 is our site so let's look at it from the outside so there's taylor's car she drove Hyper it separately quiet. piper's like excited she's protecting us Let's do, I'll walk around the back and show you guys a little bit more. Here's campsite setup. Oh my gosh, it's sort of messy. The girls are sort of awake, but not really. So look, look at this cool. Comes with little tables. Right behind us is pickleball. So this you can use, I believe, to lock up your bikes. If you want to bring bikes, you can lock your bikes up in here. Yep. So this is cool right in your site. So I think that's awesome. And then here is what Christine was talking about as far as your garbage and recycling here. So you move it up to the front of your site. 
here's how clean your hookups are. Um, very accessible. I mean, I had a friend of mine, and Mark and I, he used to call, he, we, we had a name for when the hookups were like this. I won't share that name with you because it's weird. Um, but it's... You have to. Mark and I call this RV porn. Like when you got like this kind of setup that was super clean and was just the easiest, you're like, oh my God, that's just what, oh, oh my God. But we like it. I mean, I think it's super cool. Um, yeah, let's just have some fun today. Yep. Let's do some cooking. Let's yes. see what the girls want to eat. I'm hungry. I'm hungry too. Papa needs let's, food. Let's have breakfast. Yes. Hello. As you know, <laughs> when in Bend, you go to breweries. So this is a new one, Bevel Brewing. Uh, we've never been here before. No. We've had their beer before back at home, I think. I don't know, but sure. We're going, hold on. And Piper, are Jeez. you ready for it? Are you ready for a beer? Hopefully All right. This isn't too hot for her, let's, let's go check it out. And uh, <laughs> somebody's ready for beer. Yeah. Fine here. So Bevel beer in Bend is uh, 10 out of 10. All the beers we had are great. Highly recommend this place. Four food carts. Uh, they only distribute locally in the Bend area, so it's really hard to find it. But if you're in the area, definitely stop by. It is worth the trip. Piper, what do you think? How's Bevel beer? She says, I drink all day. No. <laughs> she's like, what well, even? She's no, 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 she dog, no, no, I know she no dogs were harmed in the making of this beer drinking. Whew. We are at Spider City now. The inside is nice, dog friendly on the inside. So for hot days like this, it's great. Let's walk inside and check it out. Okay, so we're at Spider City Brewery. They don't do flights. So let's take a look uh, here. So they don't, they don't do flights, but we just did like half. They have these lines on here uh, for tasters, okay? So that's like your tasters and they're I, I don't know how much they are, but not much. They're like three bucks. Um, so the first one um, is the Waimea. The dog's getting away. Piper, she won't, honey, she will never get that far away from us. Look at her. <laughs> You're becoming the new mascot for Spider City. She, she's never gonna get away. She's, no, she's anyway, way too loyal. So it's hot. You're, what are you showing? You know, see my uh, sweaty head. Oh my God, it's so hot. Oh, we're we're going back up to this. I'm, I'm gonna have you hose me down. <laughs> okay, so let's sit here, uh, have yeah. some drinks. Yeah. Anyway, so we have a bunch of different IPAs, and then the last one uh, I have to share. This one is a passion fruit seltzer. Spider City. Uh, neat spot. Again, yeah. old, uh, in Ben they do do a little distribution throughout the Northwest, so it's gonna be a little bit harder to find. But um, we've had their beer before in town where we live and it's really good so if you guys are in town again in Ben, spider city from bevel where we were is like a half mile away so you can really hit two <laughs> right spots uh very close to each other so check them out guys great spot i don't think there's a time that we camp and it doesn't rain. Oh my gosh, it's been hot here and there's thunderstorms. It's actually raining really good. It's 90 degrees right now and uh, it's pouring, but listen. Crazy. Said. 
This is Pacific Northwest camping at its finest. Doesn't matter the time of the year, doesn't matter the weather, it rains. Oh my gosh, look over here. <laughs> look at the pickleball courts. That's quite the little storm. Just a little storm. <laughs> it's the little one, yeah. We got some nice puddles down here. Uh oh. Got a lake. Ooh. Ew, it's like disgusting. <laughs> it is disgusting, oily. Maybe that's what we're smelling. I think you're right. Probably. <sighs> that was a fun little distraction. Like any cleaner that people use on their RVs or cars, yeah. all the oil, Look at any spills, too. any spills, like all that, just like washed into these bubbles. Yum! So what do you do after pouring rain? You go get ice cream. Oh, it's muggy. Yeah, it's very, it's worse now. I didn't think it was possible, but it actually got more muggy out. So we're sitting outside at Handel's Ice Cream in Bend, which is one, just over a mile from where we're at. So it was, it was nice and close from the campsite, which is kind of nice. So there's plenty of stuff that's, uh, you know, if you need uh, the conveniences while you're camping here. The Safeway is right over behind us that way. We have a Walmart over here. We have ice cream here. There's a UPS store. There's yeah. all sorts Thank of stuff. Thank goodness for the UPS store. So a little bit of everything here. So in case you want to come camping and then ship some stuff, you're covered. Yes. <laughs> anyway, so we're just chilling outside, right Pipe's gonna have some ice cream for dinner? <laughs> Pipe, are you gonna have ice cream for dinner? <laughs> she had her dinner. We're having ice cream for dinner. <laughs> Piper, do you have anything to say? No, she says. I don't think that's gonna happen. Last night camping. And it is a super relaxing night. Girls are inside roughing it, watching TV. You know, like our forefathers did when they camped. And we're outside. Christine's on her iPad like our forefathers. <laughs> we have music going through the stereo. Again, very much like our forefathers. Um, so this is a throwback to the old days of camping. Just, <laughs> this is what it's like to connect with nature. I'm looking up, I'm looking up new camping spots. So. Nature. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Me and all my no makeup glory. Um, so, yeah, we did it. We did. We hooked up the fifth wheel by ourselves. Yeah, it was a little. I was. It was a little nerve wracking um, with the auto leveling. It's it's amazing. We love it, but it's nerve wracking when you first do it. It'll get easier, but, but man, let me tell you, it is so much easier. Yeah. So much easier than a trailer. It's great. Um, but I, here's what I'll say for people that are new to camping. I oh. unless you are a truck driver or something to that effect. I don't think necessarily starting with a fifth wheel, maybe you could, it's easier to drive, but it's, I think just getting out there and getting something, getting started. Is oh, a trailer what is the way to go. Trust me, you get that too. Like we had that down, we had that down to a science. Like oh, yeah, we, we had a rhythm and we had it done. Like we got there. So yeah. it was not a big deal. Um, but just coming from a trailer to a fifth wheel, you really notice big how much faster it is. Oh yeah, everything. Um, but it helps to have an auto leveling system too. So Bend was great, the anyway. wedding was great. Again, congratulations Zoe and John. Thank you for inviting yes. us. We feel honored that you guys included us. Oh, it was so we much fun. We had the best time yeah. camping again in a couple weeks mm -hmm. and then in a couple weeks after that. Yep. So places we've been before, but we're still gonna bring you guys with us. Yeah. Um, because we're gonna hopefully do a little bit more of these uh, this next time. So hopefully. we're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to lots of trips in uh, Roland. That's what we named him. Uh, this is Roland. 
So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Yes. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you all next time down the road. Okay. Bye.